Here, our goal is to simplify this algebraic expression. Notice that we have 2x all over y to the power of 4, and we, have the re and we raise this fraction to the power of 3. The first thing that we're going to do is we are going to take 3 and we're going to apply it to the 2x, and we take 3 and we apply it to y to the power of 4. And so we have 2x raised to the power of 3, and we have y to the power of 4 raised to the power of 3 as well. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to take 3, and we are going to apply it to this 2. Then we're going to take 3, and we're going to apply it to this x. And so again, we have 3, and we apply it to this 2. And we have x. We have 3, and we apply it to this x. And so what do we have? Well, we have 2 to the third power, and we have x to the third power, all right? And then we take, we next, we have y to the fourth power, all raised to the third power. So what we have to do is we have to multiply these two exponents, all right? And so we have y to the power of 4 times 3. Now, what is 2 to the third power? Well, 2 to the third power, well, that's 2 times 2 times 2, which gives us 8 and we have x to the third power, which is right here, x to the third power. And so we have y to the power of 4 times 3. And y to the power of 4 times 3 is, is definitely going to be y to the power of 12. And so what we have here is 8x to the third power all over y to the power of 12. And that is our answer to this question. 8x to the third power all over y to the power of 12.